Thank you very much. Uh, it was nice to chat to you guys for a couple of minutes, have you get to know me. Uh, I got a weird vibe when I walk out on stage. I I'm 34. I don't look 34. I, I don't look any age. I just look like I've been through stuff. <laughs> and 34 is a difficult age because I, it's not old, but it's old enough that the world's changed. Like, I, I'm old enough to remember time was you saw a fella with a neck tattoo. Well, then you thought, oh, I'm about to see a dead body. Now you see a fella with a neck tattoo. All you think is, oh, this latte is going to be amazing. <laughs> and, and, and you got to do things to stay young. I, I do things to stay young. I, I recently borrowed money from my parents. <laughs> For those of you who never borrowed money from your parents, the crew will know this, the celebrities will not. <laughs> you have to gather your parents together and go, hello, mother, father, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed, and that comes with a hefty fine. <laughs> now, I borrowed the money for a good purpose, brothers and sisters. I, I was getting married, and someone had to pay for the wedding. And it was nerve-wracking asking them for money. It was nerve-wracking getting married because they say the day you get married is the happiest day of your life. And that is a judgment on my life. I have lived a very exciting life. I once was on a bus and a homeless man farted so loud it knocked over a child. <laughs> Seeing my girlfriend walk up the aisle of a church will never make me that happy. <laughs> Not in a million years. Thank you for your time. I love that. I love that. You're very funny. Hey, a standing ovation yes. with three people and a crew that wants to go home. That's <laughs> called reading yeah. the room. Yeah. I wow. love that. Like that? That's not a golden buzzer, but that's pretty close. <laughs>